The steamers proceeded on into New York's harbor. Passengers got their first glimpses of the Manhattan skyline, including the Brooklyn Bridge, which spans the East River between Manhattan and Brooklyn. You may be able to spot its stone towers today. Over the years, several newer bridges have been added to the harbor's landscape, including the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, which connects Brooklyn and Staten oh. Island. If you look out beyond the Statue of Liberty, you might see the Verrazano Bridge in the distance. It's the longest suspension bridge in the United States. As the passenger ships continued north toward their docks in Manhattan, they also passed Governor's Island across the harbor to the east. It's strategically located near the mouth of the East River and was once the site of the coastal fortifications built to defend New York Harbor. In 2001, it was declared a national monument. The Statue of Liberty is part of the National Park System. We invite you to experience many additional enjoyable activities offered by the National Park Service, including outdoor guided tours. Please stop by the Visitor Information Center for today's schedule. An informative audio tour is included with your ticket and may be picked up when you arrive on each island. It includes a 30-minute Statue of Liberty audio tour and a 45-minute audio tour of the Ellis Island Museum. Food and gift services are located both aboard this vessel and in the shop near the ferry dock at Liberty Island. For those traveling with groups of children, the National Park Service requires that there be one chaperone with every 10 children and that the group remains together at all times. 